Welcome to Cast and Real Fisheries Limited. We are based in Chipata, Eastern Province, Zambia. Bonjour et bienvenue sur All About Aquaculture, tout sur l'aquaculture au profit d'Afrique. Nous sommes à Tipata, à l'est de la Zambie, et je vais vous présenter une ferme piscicole qui a un seul étang, mais où on fait de l'écotourisme avec cet entrepreneur qui est M. Patel. Good afternoon, M. Patel. Good afternoon. How, how are you today? Fine, thank you. How are you? Very well, thank you. So, from where the idea came to, to set this fish farm here in Tipata? Uh, basically, our government has been pro trying to encourage a lot of aquaculture. So we went into the research. Mm -hmm. We did a lot of our own intensive research. Mm -hmm. And then we went around to see how people are doing fish farming. Yes. But then as the internet is available, we just thought of going our way using their ideas on Google, the other ideas. And then we came up with this idea, which you can see physically on the ground. Okay, okay. And what do you do here concretely? Fish farming. Okay. So you produce which, which species of fish? Tilapia. Tilapia? Yes. Okay. Tilapia. Okay. Tilapia. And why did you decide to have only one pond and not like four, five, six ponds? Uh, because this is intensive fish farming. Okay. Because of the aeration system which is there, the oxygen, mm. and what you call the water is always clean. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of water here. So we don't have challenges on water and in the oxygen system. Okay. And from where does the water come? It comes through the boreholes. Oh, you have your boreholes. Yes, this one you can see there. Yes, yes, I can see. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's 24-7 running. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, which means, uh, do you use like alternative energy sources like, like solar? The solar there, which you can see far there. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we also use the other national grid. Electricity. Electricity, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. And I see the uh, dikes are like in concrete. Is it a concrete uh, uh, pond? No, the dikes are only in concrete, but mm -hmm. the base is actually a natural one. Okay. There are no pond liners, nothing. It's an ethan pond. Okay. Yes. Okay, so you just stabilize the, the dikes by doing the concrete yes, around like yes, that? Yes, yes, exactly. Okay, thank you very much. And the feed you use here, from where does it come? We normally make our own feed. I think you have seen it. Yes, yes. yes. The, the machine. We source our own materials and we make our own feed. Okay. Yes. Perfect. And what are the challenges you have here as a fish farmer? So far, I have no challenges. No disease? No disease. Oh, really? No. And no mortalities. How do you manage that? I mean, uh, do you do like water exchange on a regular we, basis? Yeah, we normally ro change the water on regular basis mm -hmm. and uh, what you call the oxygen which is running. Yes. And every two weeks we pour 300 kg of uh, coarse salt. Okay. In the pond. In the pond. Yeah. Okay. Because it's got iodine content, you know. So if there's any disease on the fish mm -hmm. or anything, it will clear off. I see. Yes. I see. Okay. And uh, what is your annual production here? We are doing 100,000 fingerlings, so we have two cycles in a year. Okay. Yes. 100,000 fingerlings. Yes. Uh, harvested. Harvested. Yeah. So at the end, okay. And what is the final size per, per fish? 250 grams. That's the one which is very much in the market. Okay. So they like to have like four four pieces or five pieces in a kg. The oh. family can accommodate. Okay. And eat well, you know. Yes. And how long does it take to produce the from the, the six months? Uh, from which size to which size? From uh, what size, Mr. Charles? Two mil, two grams, eh? Two grams, two to five grams. Two to five grams. Yes. Fingerlings to two fifty grams of the weight of the fish. Okay. And this is Mr. Charles. Charles, Charles. Okay, nice to meet you. My young man, this, uh, who looks after the farm here, the pond pond. Ah, okay. So he's the operation manager. Exactly. <laughs> That's really good. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Okay. And if I may, how much have you invested uh, here? here? Plus yes. Plus minus so far with the setup which you see, mm -hmm. $150,000. $150,000 yes. to have this. Yes. 
And if I may also, how much do you gain from this every year? We have already recovered uh, half of it in one year. In one year? Yes. You recovered like yes. 75,000 yes. US dollars? Yes. Oh, from the fish you sell? Yes. That's really good. So in two years, you will have your return? Returns back. That's great. Yes. Wow, wow, wow. And you were saying here you manage the water, you have aeration. Yes. Can you maybe feed the fish? Shall we see what, how they react to the feed? And no. then we turn on the aeration just to see no how problem. it works. Mm -hmm. Mr. Charles, get some feed. This side. Oh, there, there they are. There they are. Great. Great. Oh, that's beautiful. And, and uh, all these aerators, do you get them from here? Yes, uh, we got them locally. Okay, but imported, they imported, are imported. They are imported yes. Okay, okay. Can we, we have two types of uh, aerators here. This yeah. surface one, you can see, the blue ones. Yes. Including the pedal one. The yellow, with the yellow pedals yes, over there. Yes. And then we have submersible ventures also. Oh, somewhere here. Here, here, you can see that white pipe. Yes. Yeah, when we switch it on, you'll see sucking air and pushing into the pond. Can they switch it on? Wow. Okay, and now he's going to... This one here is already running. Okay. Ah, that's beautiful. Then this other one also here is running. Yes, it is running now. So the water is well aerated here. Yes. That is impressive. Then uh, we can switch on the surface one. No? Yes, please. Blue one. Okay, that's what it looks like. This is impressive. Nice, 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 nice. So, Mr. Patel. Wow. Okay, when do you switch on and off the aerators every day? These aerators run 24 7. Okay. Yes. But now those which you can see the blue big ones here, yes. they only run in the night. In the night? Yes, the small ones run in the day. Okay. Because in the night the oxygen level is very low. Mm -hmm. So we use the big aerators to pump in a lot of oxygen. I see. We have we, we did a test run on the what you call oxygen level. Mm -hmm. It was 18 milligrams per liter. 18? Yes. Wow, that's a lot of oxygen. Yes. Okay, and that's probably why you don't have any problem here, no disease, Nothing. no mortality. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. And you told me that you have more space here. Yes, more space. What are your plans? My plans are future bioflock system and RSS system. Okay. Yes. But do you already know how to run? Yes, I've already done the research, everything. I know the technical know-how, everything. Okay. Yes. Okay, that's really good. Mr. Charles, how many staff do you have here in this uh, fish farm? We have 11 together with me. Okay, 11. Yeah, 11, yes. Okay, and do you have uh, women also working here? Ah, uh, no, we don't have. Only men for now? Yes. Okay, okay. So, Great. And uh, how does it work? I mean, do you train them or are they trained already when they come to the farm? Ah, uh, no, the training is provided here. Here? Okay, oh, that's really good. And is there any scarcity of uh, labor around? Plenty labor. Oh, really? That's A really A lot of labor around. Nice, nice. Please, can you give uh, any advice to people who are interested in fish farming, who want to get into it? Sometimes they are uh, retiring or people who are young and they are interested in aquaculture. What would you say to them, please? Well, I would say this is a very good business venture. And uh, I would know, I know definitely that it's a working capital which they might have a problem with. Mm -hmm. But once you have some money around and maybe you get a good uh, investor or whatever, it's a very good business. Okay. And uh, you push in uh, whatever in the, in the, in the, what you call it, on the pond, you expect 50% profit, 50% is back to your, what you call, your cost of production. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. If well managed. Mm -hmm. yes. Thank you. And Mr. Charles, what will you say to people who are interested in aquaculture? I think uh, aquaculture 
Mm-hmm. It's a good farming. Mm-hmm. Sure. Uh, due to climate change, uh, I think uh, going into aquaculture is something which is uh, very helpful. Okay. Sure, sure, sir. Okay. Oh, that's really good. Employment also. Yes. Self-employment, you employ people around, mm-hmm. you create employment, mm-hmm. especially for the youth. Yes, yes, I can tell that you have young, have young, young people. boys around. All yes. these young youth boys, you know. Okay, yes, that's really good. So thank you so much, Mr. Patel, for welcoming uh, all about aquaculture here in Chipata, uh, eastern uh, province. Uh, province of uh, of Zambia. Yes. Okay. How do you say thank you in 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 the, the local language? Yes, ziko Okay. Thank you, ziko everyone. Ziko. Okay. Thank you.